No, we don't have any jokes because Blake's gone. And we're not funny. <laughs> we're not funny. We are serious game players. That's what we are. Blake would have three limericks lined up, but uh, oh, yeah. he's not here tonight. Folks, uh, welcome aboard. Thursday night special uh, COVID-19 boredom buster D&D for shut-ins shit uh, with the isolation starting to wind down. Uh, we're going to start to wind down, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Hard to say. <laughs> uh, but thanks for showing up. Welcome aboard. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want cool shit, uh, tinyurl.com slash uh, RPG swag. Uh, the link is covered up. If you want to join us on chat, tinyurl.com and Hobo Inc discord for the discord channel and of course uh if you want to see it here you want to see it at a different game you want to see it at the talk show hit us up let us know uh tonight we have a special event for you four players fourth level uh as it said on the preview they're walking through the southlands uh, oh god <laughs> south, like red state south south uh these guys uh, have just finished a chore for a noble woman and they are uh headed off to find their destiny. Uh, but before we get into that, let's go ahead and introduce you to our players. Uh, first up is Heidi. Heidi, who are you and who are you playing? Hi, I am Heidi and I have been a murder hobo for a couple months. I just got more swag. I'm expecting my t-shirt like next week. Um, <laughs> you bought swag? I, I bought a t-shirt, yeah. And tonight I am playing Onyx, and she is a deep no warlock. Very nice. Uh, so short, right? Yeah. Let's kill the shorties. Uh, <laughs> next up is Carol. Carol, who are you? Who are you playing tonight? Hi, I'm Carol. Actually, Heidi and I are, and our, we're in the same groups here. Um, and uh, let's see, tonight, who am I playing? I'm playing a new character I created this afternoon. So this will be real fun and real interesting. Uh, I.e. I, I, very boring, very vanilla. Hey, so I'm a half-elf ranger named Andre Jagar. You can't even pronounce your character. Shut up! Last but not least, missing her blonde wig. <laughs> What's up with that shit? Uh, Caitlin, <laughs> who are you and who are you playing? Ignore him. You'll be fine. Caitlin. <laughs> I'm a human in real life. I'm playing Marka Sylvania, who is a tiefling monk because tieflings are the only life I'll ever be. Suck ass. Uh-uh. Should have played a frog, but too late now. Yeah, you should have played a grind. <laughs> That's right. Uh, last but not least, uh, David. David, who are you and who are you playing today? Hi, I'm David. I'm one of the, the many hobos <laughs> on this show. <laughs> Uh, uh, tonight is ladies night. I will be playing Calliope. Uh, she is a warforged bard. She wears uh, a Venetian mask uh, as, uh, instead of the, the regular uh, warforged type facial features. So should be interesting. God, I knew I should have canceled for tonight. Uh, <laughs> folks, these guys are going to do a great job. I have full faith in them and a little bit of faith in me for writing it correctly. Uh, now, this scenario, a little background, is based on a little, I won't say uh, internet uh, game, but uh, give a shout out to at Rube Gelatinous for giving me some of the inspiration for tonight's game. Uh Take a look at his uh, Twitter handle. Uh, you might find something interesting as well. As I said, these guys are going through the Southlands. They have just completed a task for a local noble lady. Somehow they successfully completed it. And now they're looking for more fun and adventure. Uh, as they travel down the Southlands, they find themselves in, I'm not going to say redneck country, but redneck country like um big Bowen skinnered fans that's right <laughs> people with cholesterol issues kind of south is what Wait, we're talking about. is the butter queen there 
Uh, the, the butter queen is there. The butter king is there. The cholesterol king is there. Everything in this region is fried. That's how deep south they are. Uh, <laughs> as you're going down what is loosely termed as a road, it's more of a dirt trail surrounded by heavy foliage on both sides. I'll take perception checks by all of you, please. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so it begins. It begins. If the dice roller works, I'm going to use that. If Oh no, it's gonna be bad. So I will switch to real dice. Dice it's like seven. Twenty-one. Seventeen. It's gonna be oh. any better. Marka, what was yours? Marka. <laughs> She's going for the wig. Yeah. Uh, a, couple of, a couple of you notice you you seem to be being followed, but the foliage is so dense that it's hard to make out only just shadowy figures. Uh, you can hear some noise within the hedgerow, uh, but nothing seems to be jumping out at you for right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's see. So it's your character who this. Do I have any well, what kind of terrain are we in actually? Sorry, have you not been paying attention? It you are in like Louisiana, for God's sake. You are in the bayou. <laughs> Terry Bradshaw is walking through the hedgerow here. That's how bad it is. <laughs> Woo! Forest. Uh, which Sw one? Swamp and bog swamp. land. <laughs> the swamp. Okay, so not forest. Welcome not, to the not swamp. Not forest. Not, although there are a lot of cedar trees, or not, yeah, cedar trees, cypress trees, palm trees. It's a wide variety of flora as well as fauna. fauna. <laughs> <clears throat> and note, uh, you do have a map of the area. It's not very good, and you guys are headed to the small village called Joss du Lac, uh, hoping that there is a tavern there where you can wet your whistle. <laughs> There's a place in Louisiana called Place du Lac. <laughs> <laughs> wow you call that <laughs> there you go uh that, so much for the random name generator mm -hmm. uh so you guys think you have something following you paralleling you chasing you you aren't sure what uh what do you want to do keep going ignore it yeah yeah keep going i'm getting in the middle of all the big people <clears throat> Coward. <laughs> as you go down uh the uh, terrain, it, it starts to get a little bit muddy, indicating that there has been recent rainfall and probably a rather significant amount of it. Uh, the wind begins to pick up as you notice the tops of the trees swaying a little bit, but the foliage is so dense that the heat and humidity stay focused in on you, and you are all sweating profusely. It may start to get a little bit difficult to hold on to your weapons. All of a sudden, everybody make another perception check. Well, that definitely was better than using the dice roller. That's a 19. Uh, 14. 23. Uh, what's my last thing? Oh my God, just 11. <laughs> uh, the 23 and 19, Onyx and Anja, you hear You look over to your right and a tree is starting to fall, a rather large girthy tree, and it is going to splatter the middle of your group. Everybody roll me a dex check as the tree comes down. Uh, <coughs> 16. 16. 19. Uh, check. 22. Everybody, everybody manages to jump out of the way just as a dark figure breaks through the hedgerow, reaches up, and with massive hands grabs a hold of the tree trunk. As you guys all turn around to see what the hell just possibly crushed you, you see a tree being held up by a two-headed creature known as an Etten. Uh, with great strength, the Etten looks down at you with both heads and throws the tree behind you out of danger. What Thanks, like? friend. Hello. Thank you for calling me friend and not instantly attacking me. <laughs> By the yeah. way, I do a shitty female voice. So. I, I give oh, a gracious bow. <laughs> um, 
Oh, well, that's because you picked up the tree and moved it away from us. Well, I did not want to see you heroes squashed. Well, thank you. My name is Tallulah Bankhead. <laughs> Who might you be? I, kn I knew one of you would get that one. I, knew <laughs> one. Oh, I should know it to get it, but I don't. I'm just laughing at the name. You'll laugh at her more. <laughs> uh, she, she introduces herself as Tallulah Bankhead and inquires as to who you may be. Hmm. I'm Anja. Anja? Mm -hmm. and? I am the bard known as Calliope. Oh, bards are good. <coughs> I am Onyx. Onyx, you're short, but I like short people. <laughs> <laughs> and you? I am Marga, I am a monk. Hmm. Also a tiefling, I see. Uh, well, welcome, friends. I am glad you managed to dodge. It appears as though you didn't even need my assistance. Congratulations. Where are you headed, if I may ask? <clears throat> uh, we heard there's a town up ahead. Joss Dulac, perhaps? Yes, a small village, actually. Not really a town, per se. Um, I, are you guys adventurers, by chance? Well, we are. What, we uh, are. Need our services or something? I may need your services. For I'm sorry. Alcohol. <laughs> uh, I am not as what I appear to be. I am actually a noble woman and have been cursed to this form uh, by some nefarious agents. And I was wondering if you could help me change back to myself. I can richly reward you to the tune of 1,000 gold pieces if you can assist me in this project. What does it require? <clears throat> Up ahead at Joss du Lac, uh, there is a lake. And in that lake is a small cave. And in that cave, I have discovered, is a box that contains uh, the item that will go ahead and release me from this horrible visage. I need that box, and I, in this shape, cannot swim. <clears throat> not a tiefling, naturally. What? You're not a tiefling, naturally. I don't no, know. I, I am. Uh, I am a beautiful elven woman. Mm. Perhaps so. This box mm. is in the middle of the lake. It is in a cave. Cave. At the oh, bottom of the lake. Like in the middle. Well, maybe not in the middle. Hmm. Well, I say that we should assist this noble creature. I would appreciate it. I would go to the village, but I'm afraid that this visage would scare them. And we all know how angry villagers with their pitchforks and torches can get. <laughs> That's That's yeah. She's That's obviously xenophobic against the dumber races. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Alabamians. <laughs> Here comes the hate mail. <laughs> hey, I'm from Louisiana. Good job. <laughs> we hate Alabama. That is what happens a lot with people when they meet up with things they do not understand. And I appreciate your honesty. So would you be able to assist me or would you like a little bit of time to think it over? We How can assist, this however you got to stop thinking about other people as being below you. We're all equal. Sure, monk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got one vote help. Uh, yeah. Yes, I, would, I would like to assist. That is excellent yeah. news. Everybody roll perception. Uh, but, ooh. Not 20 for 24. Uh, 17 plus, where's my perception? Uh, 21. 21 Mark. for Calliope. As uh, Marka ties her shoes, <coughs> On Onyx immediately spots a dark shape move laterally out of the hedgerow, tackling uh, Tallulah Bankhead, and two additional ones coming out of the foliage and squaring off with you. Uh, Marka, as you confirm that your bootstraps are fastened, you look up. Uh, Onyx, Anja, Marka, Calliope, there are a pair of ogres, and they look like it's breakfast time, and you guys are the eggs. Everybody roll initiative. Roll initiative. Oh, oh. oh crappy initiative. Uh, 11 for Calliope. Six. 
That's an 18. I kicked the oh, shit out of I got an 18 too. Uh, the 18s, uh, Marka and Onyx, you are up. Uh, there is an ogre to the left, an ogre to the right, and an ogre beyond kicking the shit out of Tallulah Bankhead. Uh, okay. I am casting my action this time <laughs> is my uh, mage armor. Okay. And that's it? <clears throat> And I am moving as far as I can away from them. Fair enough. Uh, Marka? I go to the one that's help, that's beating up Tallulah. Okay. Fair that's enough. He? Yeah. Tallulah is a female. All right. I will, I, will, I will let you zip past and head for her. Uh, <laughs> she's not too far away. Go ahead and take one more action since you use your movement. <clears throat> Me? Mm -hmm. Can I attack the guy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. With my bare fist. Why, why does the ogre have to be a guy? Could be a chick. This could be ladies' night. Um, <laughs> the 24 hit? Oh, yeah. 24 easily hits an ogre. <laughs> All right. They're, stu um... they're stupid and easy to hit. 11 is your magic number, everybody, for the ogre. <laughs> okay. Bye damage how many five yeah so when i do my bonus attack <coughs> i haven't played a monk this is my second time uh next round you'll be able to use your bonus attack and uh are you going to do flurry of blows or just a second attack there i don't know yet okay uh, you, you got time also give me a perception check real quick marco <sighs> we are not very perceptive <laughs> 15. All right, not bad. Yeah, enough to know that Tallulah doesn't have any weapons. Okay, uh, the 11 is up next. Calliope. Uh, Calliope is going to reach up and fire Eldritch Blast, your favorite, mm -hmm. Frank. Wow. <laughs> uh, ogre on the left, Ogre on the right, Ogre on Tallulah. I'm going to go left. Okay. Uh, 14. Easy. Okay. And they are going to take, oh my god, oh, two points of force damage. Tux! Tux! Uh, it's the At ogres. this level it does. <laughs> uh, ogre on the left uh, goes after Onyx. Ogre on the right goes after Calliope, so they have scissor actioned. Uh, odd, uh, Marka, the ogre that you are fighting with is going after Tallulah. Uh, two plus six for Onyx, eight. I'm assuming that misses. It does. 14 plus six, dirty 20 on Calliope. Uh, yeah, that is. <laughs> uh, and only 10 on Tallulah. So, uh, Calliope ouch <laughs> they're, oh. they're easy to hit but they pack a wallop not this one though six plus four ten damage Ooh. uh finally this round ends with anja uh which one uh, which one's nearer to me calliope's or onyx's uh calliope's all right that makes sense because onyx i think said she was going back Mm -hmm. All right, so I will step up and I will. Uh, I'm going to do a bonus action, a hunter's mark. And then I'm going to take an attack. And oh, let's see, that's a 13, so that'll hit. So that is. What does hunter's mark freaking do? You'd think I'd know that by now, huh? It's What's an extra d6. Six. Mm -hmm. All right, and hey, look around. Kyle's not here. I, you know, I'm gonna fly by my pants on rules, <laughs> guidelines tonight. Guidelines, yeah. folks. If you're looking for rules, eh, you're in the wrong fucking place. Use <laughs> yeah. a different rules team. Are for <laughs> fools. That's right. That's uh, it. Fifteen points of damage. We don't need those no stinking rules. Top of the yeah. order, the eighteen. Yeah, <laughs> Onyx and Marka, you guys are up. Yeah, don't hit the face mask. Leave the face. 
<laughs> what the face? Onyx and Marka, you are up in round two. Marka, you want to go first this time? Um, yeah, so I rolled 23. Hit. Easily hits. All right. I guess and I have to roll again for a second attack, right? Mm -hmm. For the bonus. Yep. By the way, Tallulah missed <laughs> both attacks. She's. Aww. Aww. All right. Uh, three damage. Okay. Second attack. Is 17. Hit. Oh, I thought I had real damage on here. And <clears throat> four damage. Got it. Onyx. <laughs> I am, okay, Hex as a bonus action. Got it. And then Eldritch Blast. You got two of them, Frank. Hex uh, puts me at disadvantage, correct? Um, I think so. Okay, so that's 11 to hit. You said e yes, that, that hits. Yep. Um, let me see what it does. Uh, don't worry about it. I got it pulled up here. Okay. Um, okay, so that's an extra D6 with my Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. Yeah. yeah. Total of three. <laughs> yeah, you wish. Um, 11 points. It yeah. goes to 11. <laughs> so that's, not, that's right, because it's really loud. Uh, Calliope, <laughs> that brings us to you and your Eldritch Blast. I am not going to use Eldritch Blast this Yay. time. Right? Okay, for, mm -hmm. for, for the lefty, I am going to cast Witch Bolt. Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> Witch Bolt is awesome. Okay, 18 to hit. Easily. And... <coughs> Hopefully it's better damage. 12 damage. <laughs> uh, nicely done. Uh, that brings us to me. Uh, let's see. That also means it's tethered to me. So all I, all I have to do is just roll again. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm sticking with Onyx, but this time I'm switching up and going after Anja. So Onyx. Oh, smart person, you. Uh, 16, Onyx. Hits me. Anja, 8. Uh, that misses you. Uh, I'm going after Tallulah again. Aww. And that one gets her. So, oh, no. Tallulah. <laughs> oh, yeah, she'll be fine. Tallulah and Onyx. Ooh, 10 damage. Wah, wah. Tallulah must look tasty. That's all I can say. <laughs> Uh, and that brings us to Anja. All right. So now that I got that going, I've got the Hunter's Mark going. I can do a different bonus action. I can designate one creature because I took the Monster Hunter. Uh, I can see within 60 feet in the first uh, attack each turn. Blah, blah, blah. If I hit, I do more damage. Hunters suck. Ha, huh? who says? <laughs> you haven't killed me yet. Uh, <laughs> The 11 plus, well, 11's going to hit it anyways, right? 11 plus 6 is 17. Yep. I really am not happy with the fact that the stupid D&D Beyond, the way this thing is rendered, the things are running off, the, they're running out of their columns and not easy to read. Let's see. Player's Prey. How That's because you're old six? now. You just had so a birthday. It's taken an extra 2d6 damage. Oh, nice. 10, 12 plus 6 is 18 points of damage. <coughs> Got it. Top of the order. Uh, Marka, Onyx, you're up again. <laughs> I am Eldridge blasting that fool. <laughs> Fifteen hits. <clears throat> yeah, this time it's only six points of damage. That'll work, Marka. I'm going to roll my dice eventually when I get to my pad. What those? What's up? Where are birds coming from? 
I think it's Marka. You've got birds, don't you? Outside. They sound so lovely. I know. <laughs> I was looking at getting a pet bird, like but... no pet bird. Um, eleven. Wait, is that what we need to roll to get them? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's uh, fighting Tallulah's who hasn't hit yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Five damage. Jumping away at it. Uh, that brings us to Calliope, round three. Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> another 12. <laughs> you take another 12 points of damage because I'm still tethered. Hmm. That hurts. That's why Witch Bolt is so amazing. You get that hit. Uh, who am I going after tonight? Uh, back to Onyx and Calliope. Oh, uh, I and have... I'm going after Marka this time. Hey, Mr. DM, I have Sentinel Strike so, as a feat, so I'm going to hit you. Not yet you aren't. I'm Not yet. My role. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to murder him. So Seven, 17 huh? plus 6 on Onyx. Oh, shoot. Six plus six on Calliope. Twelve misses. Calliope. Uh, yes, twelve misses, of course. Uh, and eleven on Marka. So the only one I hit is Onyx, the small. With Snake <laughs> Eyes, uh, four hit points of damage. All right. <laughs> now you can hit me, Andra. All right, so that was a 14. Mm -hmm. All right, so then so it's wait, Hunter's Mark only once around activate no, once it's every attack. Oh, it's every attack, but oh, that's great. the so one you put Hunter's Mark on is David's or Calliope's. Yeah, right, the one on Onyx. the left, right, and it missed. Does that matter? Huh? No, on Hunter's, Mark, Hunter's Mark just gives me extra d6 of damage and allows me to track it if it runs away. Okay, go ahead. Um, so that is six plus six, 12 points of damage. On which one? Calliope's. Okay. Because I'm fighting Calliope's. We're both within five feet. Correct. It attacked Calliope. I have sent a little strike because ignored me. I hit it. It actually hit. Who did it hit? Marco? Or I don't know. I can't oh. remember. He missed uh, hit by two. one. Uh, Onyx. I rolled a freaking wet. I'm on the one with Calliope. So it's Calliope's. Correct. Okay. All right. All right. And, and I now, rolled... now is your regular turn. Oh, that's right. It is my regular turn. All right. Well, <laughs> still alive after all this damage? Freaking yes. okay. Okay. Uh, order. Yeah. <laughs> Onyx is down. Oh, oh no. Why? That's nice. Oh. Damn. Oh, no. Okay. TPK early. <laughs> no. 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 Uh, at least it won't be Kyle's game that runs over then. <laughs> well, all right. So, but it's my go. All right. So, bonus action to make my target my own there again. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, that's going to miss. That's a, yeah, that's going to miss by one. That's a 10. Wah, wah. Onyx, give me your first death roll. I don't think it gives me a bonus. Oh, no. That is an 18. That's plus one. Marka, you're up. You and Tallulah are fighting your ogre. Okay. So 19. Hits. And... Three damage. Can I do my bonus action again for it on them? Or is it? Sure, I don't care. You are gonna kill him. I'm not. Fuck no, you've done 20 hit points of damage to him. The others have done 78 hit points. Oh my god, he's never gonna die. Not oh. to Lupa can't friggin' help. She tends to miss a lot. Apparently. <laughs> well, she's got four eyes that are trying to triangulate. It's kind of difficult. That's, that's true. <laughs> All right, sorry. So 17 to hit and then six damage. Sure, 26 hit points. That's cool. Uh, Calliope, that <laughs> brings it to you. Okay, I'm still tethered, so I'm going to arc the guy again. Uh, let's see. What are you, jumping his battery? 
<laughs> pretty much yeah okay. uh, let's see uh hit him with uh eight points of damage and i'm gonna bonus action sing a song of healing uh today Does that affect is... everybody or just friends uh just friends just friends okay. i'm pretty Fair. sure i'm pretty sure <clears throat> uh, Not, onyx, that would be pretty broken <laughs> yeah. two, two things are going to happen here onyx uh in fill bar you start out your first two levels with max hit points and at least half on your third so okay. I, th I, I think 13 is way low for you so because you're a what a d6 for a warlock um you know i'm not sure i thought it was a d8 okay uh, well, so you, you should have at least 16 hit points and at least uh, four or more for third level and then a reroll. So you might want to reroll that with that in mind. So first two are full automatic, even with your con bonus. Second one is at least half your die roll. Third one is uh, uh, the fourth one is just a natural roll. So uh, the song of rest awesome. goes out. However, uh, Calliope, your attack has successfully brought the damn thing down, and this was the boss. The other two ogres take a look at it, and on their turn, <laughs> to the brush, uh, which is fortunate for Tallulah because the only thing she's hitting is air. Oh. Uh, do you guys want to give chase to these creatures? Not or... really. We have someone down. Before well, we do, uh, take. 10 points of healing for the song. Okay. Hey, hey, um, by the way, song of rest is for a short rest. This is, this, this, it's healing word. Oh, you said song of rest and I'm like, huh? I didn't say, I said a healing song. Frank said song of rest. That's why you confused me. Frank doesn't pay attention at all. Frank goes for gameplay over it. I was like confused. Warlock like, is a D8, so you should have at least at least 16 hit points plus two rolls one of them being at least half if you want to re-roll so onyx was never down which was fortunate everybody gets back 10 hit points mm -hmm. including Tallulah, i assume uh yes including she Tallulah. thanks you for your gracious song of re or healing word or whatever the fuck magic you're casting <laughs> uh and she apologizes to marka saying uh i'm i'm not very good at the martial attacks in this i i haven't really learned how to fight um i'm sorry if you got hurt should we pursue them or are you okay i i think with their mm. with their friend dead i i don't think they're gonna come back and i i have a hiding place not too far from here that they won't find me so will you folks go to uh joss de and uh see if you can uh recover the uh, trunk that has the item that can free me. <coughs> uh, uh, as long as I can figure out how we're going to swim down there for a long period of time. Man. I don't have to worry about it, but okay. <laughs> um, oh. I say, of course, Tallulah, we, we'll, we'll help we're you. But you are only a few hundred yards away from uh, hitting Joss Dulac. According to your map, uh, it's a small town, so it should have several businesses and items, maybe even an apothecary that sells some kind of uh, herb that will allow you to go ahead and go underwater if you want. Uh, everybody, perception check. Going to be a lot of perception checks tonight. Sorry, Marka. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Awesome. That's only a 10. Eight. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. 22. Oh, good. Marka, did you say two? Two. One. <laughs> so Calliope, Anja, and Marka do not smell the town, but Onyx does, and it smells... I can't smell anyway. <laughs> putrid. Oh, I'm glad I failed, in other words. <clears throat> Uh, as you move down the road, you hear the brush move and Tallulah has disappeared. She has agreed to meet you at this location uh, when you recover the item. As you move further down the crappy road of southern Louisa, Bama, 
uh, the flies are really out there. The mosquitoes are out there. You see some other dragonflies and things. Uh, as each of you round the corner, Calliope, you don't, but Anja and Marka, you smell what Alex <laughs> smells, and it smells bad. It smells like there's a swamp. Uh, as you round the corner, you see that the lake is uh, a lake in name only. It's got a green coating of slime on it. And you also notice that it's really flooded here. Uh, if you see the map, which is posted for everybody to look at on our page, uh, the light grays are half buildings. The sort of yellowish buildings are actual buildings. And then the outlines are partially submerged ruins. Uh, as you can tell, as you enter in from the area to the top of the screen, uh, you see three individuals uh, in the middle of the road. With <laughs> uh, and these individuals look at you uh, with a very strange gaze. Uh, <clears throat> the pungent aroma and the vast flooding are noticeable completely. Uh, and the muddy trail leads into the settlement with three individuals that are standing in the middle of the path, exchanging what appears to be dead animals. They look at you and are puzzled by your image and appearance. What would you like to do? Is there a problem? They look like they're trading animals. Are no. you asking them if there's a problem? if there's a problem they're looking at us like we have nine heads the one individual looks at you he has a strange woven sock cap on his head and he goes no we just don't see many furriners in this part of town <laughs> oh i see you just look we're looking at us like we were the weirdest thing ever well, we don't get too many fine women around here, and we couldn't help but notice the sun cascading off your faces. <laughs> As a tiefling, I'm so used to weird looks. As a monk, I'm, I don't judge. Nice, whatever. <laughs> Religions <laughs> always judge. Uh, you notice that the individuals are trading amongst themselves a skunk pelt a large turtle in its shell, and the third one is a mutated globulous fish that appears to oh. have a human face on it. If you oh, no. on Twitter, you saw that image. We saw it. Oh. What? Uh, go to Twitter. It's a fish with a proboscis. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what all brings <laughs> you to our neck of the woods? Uh, and it's the same individual that's talking. The other two remain relatively silent. Uh, we're just adventurers, and we're looking for adventure. Oh, you came to the wrong place here, beloved sister. Beloved sister. Well, we were coming from an adventure, too. We were looking for a place because it is bloody warm here. Ah, I don't notice that. Well, you live here. I don't come from here, so. No, you sure don't. You're too pretty. You smell like city to me. <laughs> We're going to just segue right into Silence of the Lambs on this one. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hello, should I? Somebody's going to get a bug cocoon in their throat by the end of the night. <laughs> I found the fish. Okay. I think I'll turn Twitter off right now. Thank you very much. So uh, <coughs> the individual uh, announces his name is Larry, and uh, he seems to be quite the chatty one of the trio. Are the other two, are the other two names uh, Daryl and Daryl? As a matter of fact, they are. They are. Larry, Daryl, mm -hmm. and Daryl. That ages, that definitely ages me, doesn't it? <laughs> yep, you're, you're, Mark is going to have to Google that one. So, yes, yeah, so you have Larry, Daryl, and Daryl. So, you know, oh. only two of them are going to talk. <laughs> That's right. So, um, I don't know. What do we want to ask them? The uh, one holding the skunk pelt looks at Anja. Oh. Kind of strokes his beard, but he's still got the skunk pelt in it. 
You sure are pretty. You're like, you're like city purdy. <laughs> What's your charisma? Uh, it's 12. You're gorgeous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh Suddenly, the emanations from the dead skunk are starting oh, no. oh. to your way. That's, that's the reaction you're getting. <laughs> the, the one that Onyx has. As, as Onyx starts to choke down her beverage. <clears throat> oh, no. Uh, the, one, the one holding the shell keeps turning it upside down, and every once in a while, the turtle head keeps snapping off at it. You yeah. notice that he already has a slight cut on his nose from all the I want to freaking, oh God. I, there's a part of me that wants to murder Hobo the guy and free the damn turtle. <laughs> the turtle's alive. The, turtle. the turtle's good eating. No. One bite? Free no, I can grab it no. from him. I'm not gonna murder, I'm gonna grab the turtle from him. Uh, you do realize you're in the backwoods, right? You're and stealing we, this guy's food? food? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't that purdy. <laughs> I will trade him accordingly. Not me, but I will. He, he, he hangs on to the shell for dear life, and you're hanging on to the snappy part. What are you willing to trade for this? Uh, some loving? <laughs> <laughs> food. Or how about, how about some gold? I got no use for gold here, dear. How about, well, I've got one of Could you use a I, wife? Well, no. Why would I be carrying around for, like, uh, food? What sort of rations. things? Rations? Yeah. Yeah. I have these good rations. They're yummy. They're better than this turtle. I don't know. Turtles. She good. sweated all over them. Her essence yeah. dripping within the food. Oh, that's a nice touch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what? Persuade me, Anja, and I'll give you plus no. one because your no. essence is dripping. <laughs> uh. Remember, folks, mature audiences only. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Although that's a 19. <laughs> I, I would be happy to take your rations, my lovely inspiration. And he hands you the turtle. Uh, give me a DC 12 versus dexterity or get bit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Well, I do have animal. Well, no, I actually don't have a train, but I, have, I can make an animal handling check, can't I? <laughs> nope, DC 12. DC 12, wait, DC 12 what? Dex. Dex. Oh, a dex check. I thought you said make a D12 check. Uh, well, that's a 17 on the die, so I so, made that. So, snap, uh, it misses you, uh, and it starts to wiggle. It's going to be <laughs> a handful. Uh, Daryl, the talkless one, oh, no. also looks at Anja, <laughs> and uh, does the My Michael Anthony Hall... <laughs> <laughs> from 16 candles i just uh, like mm, 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 does he lick the braces too Ew. Oh. he needs the headgear <laughs> uh okay they go back to bartering because now they're interested in the rations of your essence uh, <laughs> and they're going to step away from the road since you're not uh answering their call of the wild uh where would you guys like to go um let's go further in maybe we can find some place that has like water breathing potions or somewhere we can get a drink or brought those guys as like squishy bodyguards oh no they are not interested in you at all they like anja <laughs> just convince them to tag along with us why don't they like collide? I sure Calliope has a much better charisma the than The dice I'm. taketh and the dice giveth <laughs> away. You are in their wheelhouse of love. <laughs> uh, they, they are more interested in Anja's uh, essence food, <laughs> whatever. Uh, and they are just <laughs> intent on this. So they are just going to let you walk away, whatever, blah, blah, blah. If Anja's going to uh, ignore their romantic interludes, then screw oh, her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Uh, yeah. As you proceed yeah. deeper into town, you notice to your right, there's a, a lot of skeletal remains of buildings. Uh, and you can tell you know, there, there were quite a few buildings here at some point in time. To the left, uh, the stagnating pool of water uh, has overflown the shores of river, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and the bridge over said river is in poor condition, but appears to be able to hold your weight. Uh, just over that is a building surrounded by rocks that are keeping uh, the rising waters at bay. Uh, but there is a rickety old piece of tree that has been just cut right down the center and it is strewn over like a drawbridge that will allow you entry into this building and or you can look around the town square that is in front of you. Do we see the lake itself to like where that cave might be? It's over to your right. You said it was the water level in the lake was low, right? That's what I said. I wonder <laughs> it is. Look out, look out into the lake <laughs> see if it's that low that maybe we can even walk like I, we could see the cave from from there. It's flooded. This oh, whole area is a floodplain. Right, but you said the lake, the level was the level of the water was low. I've said a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, you did. Well, y'all, 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 y'all are y'all are just trying to figure out stuff, and your your ciphering ain't that good right now. <laughs> you should listen less, but pay attention more. That makes. <laughs> Sense whatsoever. See, well, well, welcome to Louisiana. Louisiana. <laughs> it was all one territory at one time, anyway. So <laughs> that's the scary owned part. by <laughs> Indians. Alabama and Mississippi just mix them all together. This yep. Louisiana. <laughs> yeah, that's who I should have named Tallulah. Uh, <laughs> so, do you guys want to go into the inn on the side of the building? Uh, it, it is considered the best building in town at this point in time. Uh, the yeah. structure is encircled by stones, has a ramp, and faded paint on the side of the building refers to it as the mossy mug. The mossy mug. What time of the day is it? Yeah, you're right around noon. Right in the heat. This is, the, this is the yum time right here. This is the <laughs> heat. I love the heat. Do we need a spot of lunch? Oh, I'm we... sure this is at least a three star. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm sure there's uh, some have... form of refreshment you can get uh, here. Yeah, let's. It's probably <clears throat> hotter in there, but we can try. Okay, everybody who crosses over this slab of lumber, roll a d20. If you roll a one, you're pitching into the water and you're <laughs> stinky. Otherwise, you're going to make it over. There's not a one. Just not a one. Not Not a one. A, I got five. <coughs> Ooh, okay, nineteen. Onyx. Uh, that was a six. Everybody crosses over, and you open the door. Uh, the light kind of filters in to a very dank, dark place. Uh, it smells lovely. It smells like the color brown, if you like tangled. Um. And inside you see the, uh, entering the establishment, you will find the aroma of mold, vomit, and ale. The furnishings have seen far better days, but are adequate under the circumstances. There are three people present inside this establishment. There is an elderly man, a voluptuous woman in scant clothing, and a dirty man smoking a smelly cigar. They look at you, puzzled, and then the uh, statuesque woman in scant clothing approaches and goes hey y'all what would you like is her name daisy her name is daisy nice <laughs> mm -hmm. wait did I re am i really getting every single one of your tropes before you tell oh, yeah. come on they're tropes oh, yeah. there's, there's, still two more. there's still <laughs> two more to get in this building alone Scantily clad and in the south who could that be no, I'm never <laughs> and really working in a bar I never really watched that show. So. <laughs> Recently, she was blonde. Uh, so uh, uh, the, bar, the barmaid seems to be very pleasant. Doesn't seem too judgy, monk. Uh, <laughs> and what you like. Says they've got a special. It's turtle soup. But they're running low. Their supplier is a little bit late. 
You don't <laughs> have Buddha's feast. Don't have what? Buddha's feast. Buddha's feast. Mm -hmm. It's a vegetarian dish. Oh, I'm sorry. You all forgot where you're at. We don't <laughs> serve vegetables. We serve that. That's what our food eats, dear. <laughs> Do you have alligator? Uh, we do have alligator. It's yeah. a little bit on the rare side, though. Yeah, they, yeah. they come from the lake. Mm. Have gumbo? That's right. I would have shooed the turtle up. Chris, watch it come walking in. We got something called jumbo. <laughs> gumbo. Jumbo gumbo. <laughs> gumbo. What was that? Jumbo gumbo? Jumbo gumbo. It's pretty good. Uh, the man smoking the cigar smiles. Uh, and uh, it's everybody gets the impression of creepy just straight you don't even after all it's like oh that guy's yeah. kind of creepy he goes you like the jumbo gumbo is very good or my name <laughs> cooter mcswain oh god <laughs> cooter that's two so we have two. gone into so this is the dukes to hazard mm -hmm. uh, so we all know who the old man is oh god it's jesse huh no the old man steve come on have steve. you ever played in phil bar <laughs> the old man steve it's Jesus always Christ. steve, it's always is, steve, steve. Vetter, is steve vetter around nope just these three uh steve pours a, a great big ladle uh and it's got something on the side of a cracked wooden bowl it looks like some kind of biscuit or bread pushes it towards onyx here you go. This will help you grow, little lady. <laughs> I am full grown. Thank you very much. They must grow them small where you come from. But you know what? You're as cute as a gnat's ass, and I like that. This one's on the house. Oh, my God. Thank <laughs> you. I had to do a lot of research with Southern shit. Oh, uh, so, no. Onyx, would you like to try and eat it? Oh. I am going to try it, yes. Give me a con check. Oh, God. Hey, it could be good. You're going you're gonna to determine if the rest of us eat is what's going to happen. That is an 18. You like it. Ooh. It's a bit on the spicy side, but you like it. Welcome to Louisiana. Yeah. You like it spicy. And <laughs> on cue, the door opens. And your friends, Larry, Daryl, and Daryl, enter in and oh, give God. me a perception check. Oh, Lord. Perception check. Uh, 22. 18. Yeah. Uh, 26 <laughs> for Calliope. Marco. Oh, sorry. I'm looking up sandwiches. <laughs> 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 Talk about food, I get it. I'm rolling for what? Perception. Perception. Something you don't have right even, now. A question. You have no I was it. like, wait, Wawa delivers? I don't even think you guys know what Wawa is. So I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I watch the Goldbergs. I know what yeah, Wawa is. Yeah, we know is. what. You got to hang out the Wawa. Like <laughs> I've heard of your perception roll? 19. All I'm four of you notice as they enter in and the sunlight is behind them. They're cast in shadows, but you recognize the voice of two of them. You also notice that Larry is now carrying a large box. Uh, <laughs> Daisy starts to verbally berate him, saying that uh, she was expecting a turtle and he has failed to deliver. He then points out, as he sets the box down next to four, Calliope, uh, that he has made a trade that is even better than the turtle. And he looks over at Anj and he goes, because it's this pretty little filly right here that treated oh, me. <laughs> if you want the turtle that bad, I think she's got that snapper in her in her drawers. No, I really, I I re released it somewhere out by. I, I, I didn't actually cover that, and I didn't say I picked it up and took it. So I'm going with I released it as we yeah, straight up D20. Let's it. see if you dropped it and landed on its shell and died from heat stroke. Oh. oh, don't be a no! I know I didn't free. I'll make it. <laughs> she rolled a one. No, I didn't roll one. Okay, no. then it's fine. That's, that's a seven. Eh, not that <laughs> great. <laughs> points nine. If you want my two points in animal hands, that's fine. Uh, that turtle will go off and breed somewhere. Uh, Good. 
Maybe there's a box next to you and it smells different. Uh, Marka, uh, you and Anja are just passive witnesses and Onyx, you are devouring what is pretty good jumbo gumbo. I wanted to try some of that. Uh, Uncle Jesse, uh, D12 against me there, Anja. Mm. And 11. Hey, I'll get you some. I'll get you a smaller bowl because uh, you don't Fine. look like you need to grow. And uh, give me a con check. Oh, that's good. Uh, con check. So that is uh, that's a 15. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, you like good. it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Marco, do you want to uh, join the conversation or just kind of passively watch? I'm going to passively watch. Not you, you're eating. Oh, sorry. That's why I'm passing. You feed watching. your face. <laughs> so, I cautiously join the conversation. Whose side would you like to take? The side of Larry, Daryl, and Daryl or Daisy? Daisy, because I'm a lesbian, so I'm always going to side with the girl. Chick, chick stick together. <laughs> uh, what's your charisma? 15. Why? Eh, they don't like you. Uh, <laughs> he, he, he complains loudly to Daisy, stating that, you know, the, the, it, he brought her something just as good. And on top of that, he brought her what's in the box. So he offers her what's in the sack, which would be Anja's uh, rations, or what's in the box. It's, you know, it's a game show. Uh, Calliope, give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, sorry. Wait for the roller. <laughs> Thirteen. There's something moving in that box. I was gonna uh, say I was gonna check it for movement. Marco, uh, what do you want to say since you're gonna hang out with Daisy? Do a Brad Pitt. What's I guess I just box? like flirt with her. I don't know. Uh, give me a performance Casually check. Casually talk about religion. You do know we're in the South, right? <laughs> There's like one religion down there. Football? Yeah. yeah. Crawfish. Not 20. Crawfish. I don't know if I'm rolling for <laughs> Performance? 22. Uh, okay. Uh, she is mildly, only mildly interested as she continues to verbally berate Larry, Daryl, and Daryl. She goes, <laughs> fine, I will take odd the bag even the box odd i'll take the bag oh. she, she takes anja's uh bag looks through and goes what in tarnation is this shit calliope you notice that that box is even kind of moving on the stool that it's on right now <laughs> so i inquire uh gentlemen may i inquire what's in the box why, you sure may, pretty Philly. What's inquire mean? May I ask, what's in the box? <laughs> oh, uh, well, it looks like it's going to be our dinner, because she didn't pick that. Ah, what's on the menu tonight? Oh, no. He reaches over, lifts up the box, and several copper-headed rattlesnakes <gasps> just out of the box. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Everybody God. roll initiative. Oh, what is it with you and snakes, Frank? It's the, it's the bag of snakes again. I, I knew you were playing, so I had to include it. And that's a nat 20, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so we're rolling man. initiative, right? One, yep. one. Not what? Na unnatural. Okay. 30. Uh, 19. 11. Marco? 12. Uh, <laughs> Larry is a part time snake charmer priest. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take a hit on, uh, let's see, three. <laughs> Marka, uh, you're standing too close to Daisy, and those things are going to bite. You're going you're gonna to get hit by Larry's snake. Am I? How will that roll? Uh, 11? No. Okay, uh, Larry has lifted the box. The copper heads are out of it. Uh, what's Larry's initiative? 
Larry's initiative is a nat 20 as well. Uh, as it reaches out to snag Marka, Larry slams the box down. Go see, lovely. That's what's for dinner. That's some good eating. <laughs> There's only one? Oh no, there it's a it's a swarm. There's a lot. Okay, uh, so the, the so he managed to recapture one or he recaptured them all. He slammed the lid, caught them all. Cooter oh, says, okay. let me take another look at that, because that might be my cousin's snake. Uh, it is clear that Larry disagrees with this assessment, at, but does not want to show Cooter the box. Cooter now becomes insistent that he wants to see inside the box. You can tell that there is trouble of brewing. Hopefully the Duke boys are in town and can sort this out. <laughs> what would you guys like to do? I will start with the dirty 20, uh, Anja. The lid no. is down, the box is shut. There is a verbal argument starting to brew. I honestly, I sit and eat my pretty good jumbo gumbo. Calliope, you're up. Uh, I cast Mage Hand and I start picking up the steaks to put back in the box. Oh, no, they're, they're all in the box. Oh, they're they all back not, in the yeah, box? They did not spill. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> well, I'm eating my soup. So what would you like to do, Calliope? Uh, uh, well, I mean, that I had my turn planned out. I was going to pick up the snakes, but since they're not out, no, um, uh, let's see. Uh, I asked them, uh, so gentlemen, uh, how do you, how do you prepare these snakes to consume? Who are you saying that to? To eat. Larry. <coughs> Daryl. Daryl. <laughs> Lady, are you dumb? <laughs> oh, I... I'm a construct. I don't know these things. Uh, Marka, uh, you can tell that Calliope is making things worse. What would you like to do aside from hit on Daisy? Aside from what? Oh, hit, hit on, on Daisy. Daisy. Uh, <laughs> do we actually have to fight these people for any reason? Can't we just leave? You can leave if you want. They, they are arguing amongst themselves. You guys are just Pawns. I just casually, sneakily walk outside. Fair enough. Onyx, you're up. Okay, well, I'm probably at the end of uh, the gumbo and biscuits. It's a, it's, it's a big bowl because you oh, need your wow. growing. <laughs> well, I'll eat maybe half of it because that's I just why think I can That's eat. why you're small, says Uncle Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Could be, could be. Fair enough. Marka, as you reach the door and you open it, a scream filters in from outside. It sounds female-esque. And Marka, you see a giant scorpion headed for a group of orphans. Oh, jeez. I close the and door. we have our orphans. <laughs> uh, Calliope, the attention of Larry, Daryl, and Daryl is averted from you and your stupid question to the Why door. Why stupid? Because okay. you don't know how to fix snake. Where did you grow up at, girl? <laughs> <laughs> snake is a staple in uh, Miss Louisa Bama. Uh, Louisa oh, Bama, yeah. huh? Uh, hey. Daisy screams out, I think that's Grandma Moses, and it sounds like she's in trouble. Uh, oh, currently, Marka... <laughs> Shuts the door. <laughs> uh, the others are alarmed. So uh, going off the old initiative, which we will stick with, Anja, you've got the dirty 20. All right. Well, I heard the scream, and they said somebody's in trouble. So I'm going to get up, and I'm going to go out there and face whatever the hell that thing is. You said it's a scorpion, right? I don't know. Marker, are you going to let her pass? <laughs> I'm going to try um, to get I just walk to the side of the door like a sidestep just like hmm, look at this wall fair enough anja drops her half consumed bowl of jumbo gumbo on the floor and sprints towards the door 
throwing it open. And yes, indeed, you see a giant scorpion. Uh, oh, good. Next up is the 19 Calliope. <laughs> okay. I say, pardon me, gentlemen. And it's just like, I believe assistance might be needed outside. So I excuse myself and just kind of <laughs> start walking, doing the robot. Yeah, Fair enough. Noises. <laughs> Come on, do the robot for real. Uh, Mark, uh, you've got the 12. You're up. You step out. Anja and Calliope hit the door like it's going out of business. They hit the door like a barber during COVID. Oh my god! <laughs> Is there like a bush? Oh, in Michigan. Outside? No. Remember, it's the rock garden. Oh shit! They've got the stone dike surrounding it. <laughs> I guess if everyone's going outside, I'll step behind them and hang out in the rock. Onyx, you've got the 11. Go ahead. All right. I will. Um, can I, like, get outside or are people blocking the door? Nope. Everybody's running outside and Marka uh, steps outside and steps to one side. Mm -hmm. Apparently she's going right. to smoke a Marlboro out of her shirt sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stressed. <laughs> All right. Um, if I can see that giant scorpion, I'm going to cast Chill Touch. Uh, what's the range on that? It. 120 feet? Oh, yeah. You got it. That, however, is only an eight. Uh, that, however, is a miss. <laughs> uh, now, we will go ahead, since you guys are going to engage this thing, let's re-roll your initiatives, because I don't want to stick... But I want to keep mine. Wait, I don't wait. Wanna, well, I had a nat 20, so are you sure? <laughs> no, I had a 21. Uh, yeah, that wasn't nearly as good, but that's okay. It's still a 14. Okay. Mm -hmm. 10. Uh, I got 22. 22. Four for gore. <laughs> Four. Oh. Marka? 14. 14. Uh, everybody but Calliope beats me. So we'll start with the 22. Onyx, fire at will. Round, All right. round real one. Choo. <laughs> uh, it's round one redux. Still touch again. <laughs> That is going to ooh, be better. Uh, 15 is your magic number. 15. Okay, well, 17 on the die. Shooter needs a 15. So 22 makes it. <laughs> Easy. With eight points of damage. Nice. No uh, next up are the two 14s, Marka and Anja. Do you want to go or do you want me to go? You can go first. Okay, I'll run up to it and engage. I will do my bonus action to uh, declare Slayer's Prey. That's what it is to give me the extra D6. And I'll hit, try to hit it. And I'll roll off. Oh, I'll roll a nat one. So who am I hitting? Oh, uh, wait. Marka Everybody. is behind you, as is uh, Onyx. So it's going to be you, or it's going to be the a Warforged companion. So odd you, even Calliope. One odd. You hit yourself. Stop hitting <laughs> yourself. Stop hitting yourself. What is it, half? Yes. Okay. Do your damage and take half round down. This is bad when you actually... Oh, actually, I didn't hit the actual target, so I'm not going to count that. Marco, <laughs> while she's doing her own damage, go ahead and go after you. Uh I'm going to use, I'm going to stay away from it, right? Coward! Sure, go ahead. In, at least within an 80 foot <laughs> And use my short bow. Sure, go ahead. All right. <coughs> yeah, this thing wields a lot of damage. 21 yeah, hits? You're going to leave me to take it all. 21 hits. Okay, and it's six damage. That's nice. Uh, go ahead. Oh, it's my turn. Uh, everybody, quick perception check, please. Oh my god, this is it. Come More on. perception checks. That's what this whole night is. Perception uh, control, 19. 19. Perception control, yeah. Uh, 14. 7. Oh, I should uh, even Calliope notices that there's an elderly woman blocking uh, access to a small child. 
uh, from the giant scorpion. The giant scorpion, however, is focused in on the old bat, uh, and it is going to go after her. Oh, wait, I'm standing right there, so it can go after, but I want my sentinel strike. It could. It's not going to. Uh, and it hits Grandma. Oh. Well, she's at the end of her line anyway. Nice. That Sacrifice for the economy. Save. She does make her save, so that's not bad at all. Uh, she takes a claw to the torso, and she's feeling it. Uh, Calliope, you are up. Hey, wait. Did I get my sentinel strike? Not till the end of the round. Calliope, no. you're up. It's a reaction on its turn. When it strikes somebody else, I hit it. Right, but I, I hold all those till the end of the turn. And okay. then move forward. Go ahead, Calliope. Okay. <laughs> One trick. It doesn't other. make a difference because he's not going to kill it either, or she's not going to kill it either. Okay. Eldritch Blast. I yep. hit it with uh, 24. Nice. Oh, let's hope my damage is much better. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, eight. <laughs> oh, that's better. Okay, Sentinel Strike. <clears throat> wow, that is weird rule, okay, but whatever. Nope. It, it's uh, the way I keep track of everybody. Otherwise, I'll lose track and I'll say, oh, well, you just hit, when in reality, no, you didn't just hit. Uh, well, because... Ways, because now it's a miss. Okay. Uh, top of the order. Onyx, 22. All right. Uh, chill touch again for Dirty 20. Mm -hmm. oh, eight is five points of damage. Got it. Um, a 214s, Marka and Anja. You guys are up. All right. So Slayer's Prey. Come on, damn it. Oh, that's it. That'll hit. That's a 20 something or other. 21, I think. Yep, 15 hits. That's 15 on the die. Uh, for 12 points of damage. Marka? Does a 12 hit? A 12 is not <laughs> hit. Damn it. All right. Uh, and it is the giant scorpion's turn. It turns and faces off with you guys. I believe only Anja and Calliope are within melee range. Uh, the first one is the claw. The second one is the sting. Odd Anja, even Calliope. Whoever gets this one, the other person gets the sting. Oh, no. Five, odd. Anja gets the claw. Calliope gets the sting. Okay. Mm -hmm. hey, how does that work with Sentinel? Does, because it attacked me, even if it attack somebody else that I don't get it off, right? It attacked you, so you'll get right. Sentinel. Both. All right. So, yeah, I can't imagine. Because yet. last time it didn't attack you at all. Right. I think that's how that worked. So, Anja. No. I don't think so. Eight. That's, that's not going to hit you. And Calliope. Uh, that's 19 plus four for 23. Uh, resistance, because I'm a Warforged. Warforged. Uh, are poison? you resistant to, oh, okay, to that? Well, DC 12 versus con for the poison. The sting okay. is still going to do hurt unless you are resistant to piercing. Actually, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, the D12 I rolled at eight. Uh, so you will be resistant, so you will still take half. Uh, okay. you, you're going to take five for the sting. Okay. And you better pray I roll low because uh, there's 4d10 here. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, I know scorpions are badass. <laughs> uh, there's a one, a two, a three, and a five. Uh, 11 poison damage along with the piercing damage. Okay. And that brings us to what was Calliope. the total damage? Five uh, piercing. Five piercing and 11 on the poison. <coughs> so 16. half the poison. Uh, oh, yes. Um, six. So 11 total. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, that brings us to you, Calliope. Uh, Calliope uh, is just like, that. that smarts. <laughs> and she is going to... I've, I've, I've been hit. <laughs> I've been hit. Uh, yeah. Calliope's going to witch bolt its ass, so hopefully I hit. 
Ooh, not with that. Seven. Da -da -da -da. Miss. Uh, Anja, go ahead with your sentinel. Yeah, I think I do get it. Because when I read it, it does say when a creature makes an attack, it does not say if it's nullified by it attacking you with a different attack. So I guess I do get it. Yeah, it's a guideline. Nobody cares. <laughs> that's uh, that's I, a 15 on the die. So that, that hits. I am promoting the storyline, not the rules as written. Uh, Just to drive the rules lawyers nuts. 13, 13 points of damage. Although, well, I kind of want to know from me. But that's that's I Do it on your own time, baby. Uh, back to the top of the order. Onyx, kill this hmm. thing. It is my own time. <laughs> Come on, Onyx. I am going to switch it up. I am going to Eldridge Blast this thing. Ah, for the love of God. Yeah! <laughs> uh, that is 25 to hit. That hits. And... Da -da -da. Two points of damage. Which is good enough to create a deceased one with 54 hit points of damage what? done. Uh, the giant scorpion gasps, sputters, spits, Ooh. attempts to crawl after Grandma Moses, who is skittering away as fast as she can, uh, even though she is severely wounded, uh, uh -huh. and collapses in on itself. Uh, somebody is going to feel... Two. Anja, you feel a tap on your shoulder. I look. It's Larry. Uh, hey, princess, you gonna eat that? The scorpion? Mm hmm. That hmm. is some good eating right there. I'm like, dinner served, boys. <laughs> I'm thinking it's not much different than lobster. I mean, hey. Larry, Daryl, and Daryl don't even wait. They descend upon that thing along with Cooter and Steve. Daisy, however, has no interest in skin in that thing, and she goes to get water in a pot so that they can properly boil it. <laughs> Moses approaches you guys, Onyx, and says, oh, thank you very much for doing as little as humanly possible, except for killing the thing. <laughs> uh, how can I ever repay you? Um, well, we need to get um, into the cave that's under the middle of the lake. Do you happen to know where we might be able to find, I don't know, potions that'll help us breathe underwater, maybe? Larry scoffs as he starts to carve up the thing. He goes, you ain't getting out on that lake. You need a boat to get out there. Uh, Grandma Moses hushes him, hush boy, uh, and says, well, I... I don't know what you mean by potions. I'm not a witch, dearie, uh, but I do have something that might help you. She pulls forth from her tattered robes four pieces of what appear to be licorice or, you know what? We're in the South. Slim Jims. Four nice. Slim Jims. <laughs> Snap into it. And hands one to each one of you. She goes, this might help you hold your breath a little bit longer because it's got a kick. And I thank her. Sure, it's yeah. just like, but <laughs> I personally do not need this, but I can hold on to it from my friends if you'd like, or are, return are you it doing, to you. Are you going to do it like this the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> Snap it to <laughs> Slim Jim. I will absolutely. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Grandma Moses points out that she heard there was a cave out there. Uh, but the Slim Jims will go ahead and help you hold your breath. But Daryl, silent Daryl. <laughs> shakes his head left to right. Uh-oh. Uh, Larry and speaking Daryl are still carving up the thing. You hear a lot of cracking and crunching as they tear into it. Nice. Hmm. Steve and Cooter are just helping collect the chunks. All right. I'm going to ask Grandma Moses, um, would you happen to know where we might be able to find a boat to use to row out to the middle of the lake? <sighs> Silent Daryl. <clears throat> the only boat available is owned by Huck, and perhaps you should go speak with him. <laughs> <clears throat> he, goes, he goes back to cracking the pieces. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Do we know where that is? 
Could you point us in that direction, please? Thank you. It's like Jay and Silent Bob, mm -hmm. who almost made the cut. But they're, uh, but they're in New Jersey and nothing Jersey. good ever happens in New Jersey. <laughs> uh, so they point past the tavern uh, to where a lot of those skeletonized buildings are at. But uh, there's a small slope. So you assume that's what they mean. Okay. Well, before we are on our way, I'm going to sing a healing word for us all, including grand, Grandma Moses. Anja, give me a perception check. Okay. Big whopping five points. Oh, that was good. That's a nat 20. Are you uh, going to give it back to Grandma Moses, too? Huh? He said he was. Okay, fair enough. Yes. Uh, Anja, you feel... A musky scent over your shoulder and the loud chewing on both of them. Uh, Larry and speaking Daryl, not deep voice Daryl, but the other speaking Daryl, are over your shoulders. What you gonna do? At me? Yeah. Well, and they're eating the giant scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> Did you even cook it? Oh, God. Cooking like, ruins the flavor. Who are you people and what are you doing here? Jeez. G-Money. The good Lord didn't give you fire. You had to earn it. <laughs> nice. As the good book says, you eat scorpion as the scorpion lived. Hallelujah. <laughs> Whatever. What am I going to do? We're going to go out to the middle of the lake and go explore a cave. And I'm going to I'm going to start heading the direction they pointed. They're going to walk with you. <laughs> oh yay. Onyx, Marka, Calliope, you notice that Anja's picked up a few friends and she is headed down the slope where uh old Huck uh has what can best be described as a trailer on the side of the plateau and a small flat boat is attached with hemp rope to a tree. Uh, it is essentially a freaking raft. Oh my God. Oh boy. Old Huck comes out and he goes, he's brandishing a pitchfork and he goes, what do you want? To but your before boat. anybody can speak, Larry and Daryl go, they want to use your boat because they want to go out and they want to find some cave sunk under the water like there is such a thing. I'm sorry, miss. You go ahead and you talk. Crunch. Crunch. <laughs> you know what? You two, can you two make and they, like they start to wipe off your shoulder because some of the crunching got on you. <laughs> you know, could you two make like a tree and um you know get out of here sure biff onto <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> tannin <laughs> they take a step back and continue to chomp away in tandem yeah, like to mm. borrow your boat i do not i i don't let anybody uh <laughs> borrow my boat bless you uh since the accident is there anything we could do to convince you? This is kind of important. It was kind of important when my good friend Jim died. Oh, no. <laughs> can you row us out to the middle of the lake? Yeah, can I'm you not going out on the lake. There's critters out there. So then why no, you even those two dullards could have told you that. Why? Uh, why Besides, I got you... a fence to paint. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> yep. so why do you even have a boat if you're not going to ever use it? I'm sorry, aren't you the lady that threw the turtle into the river a few minutes ago? Why'd you have a turtle if you weren't going to eat it? Are you a deef? <laughs> mm -hmm. I respond. Mind you, Larry goes, that's what we said. That's what we said, Huck. You two what? hush up. I'm talking to the purdy lady. Hey, I like turtles, okay? And I would wanted it to see it live. 
Well, that is the stupidest reason. Why would I risk my boat, my pride and joy with somebody who doesn't eat turtles? That is just a stupid idea. You're going to have to roll for persuasion to get this guy to borrow his wife. I know, and I'm not. Why isn't our bar doing this? Because you spoke up. <laughs> yeah. You're the one with the entourage tonight. Mm -hmm. Because I have stage for persuasion. Uh, by the way, uh, Talkie Daryl is peeing on a tree right now. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm like, mm -hmm. just, I've like had enough of this, so I'm not very persuasive. Uh, um, uh, Calliope steps in, she says. Oh. Uh, I, I'm, I might be able to. Why in tarnation and... are you? Can I do what a What is that fancy face mask? And I am Calliope. <laughs> A calliope? Did you have a doctor check it? Uh, <laughs> don't quite understand the question. Well, a calliope, but that's one of them itchy things, right? No. Not quite, but uh, so, <coughs> uh, so, Huck, what would it take for us to uh, borrow your raft? D12 against me. Okay. Come on, Calliope. 11. Fair enough. Uh, at this time, Grandma Moses comes down. She's still limping from the injury, and she's got the kids. And she goes, damn it, Huck. He just saved your niece. You owe him that. So he asks, how'd you save my niece? Larry speaks up before any of you can answer. Still chomping on the claw, goes, they killed that giant scorpion and it whoa, whoa, oh no wants <laughs> to go <laughs> he excuses himself to find a stump that he can lead up against. <laughs> he's going to be in gastric distress here in a few oh, minutes God. you cook him Huck uh, says well I suppose if you if you saved my niece and you can promise me you'll bring it back in one piece I will let you borrow it yeah, just for the afternoon. Back in one piece. <laughs> we are you going for the best? cave? Huh? What? Are you going for the cave? We are. Huh? You look for the cypress tree with the blue leaves on it. Blue leaves. Duly noted. The lake. Yeah, that's if where you're gonna use grow. the boat. It's gonna be in the lake. It ain't gonna be <laughs> on land. Boy, Where? you people are stupid. Yeah. What, no. Which way do we row? This way or this way? Left or right? Which way is it from here? The lake is out that way. Sweet. I'm having second thoughts about letting you <laughs> borrow my raft if yes. you don't even know how it works. I do. Are we going to be able to see this cypress from our side of the lake, or do we need directions to get to it? Is it a big lake? It's a big lake. Uh, he says it's in the middle. Uh, he's going to trust... Three, Marka. You one of them there, holy men or women? I can't tell by your haircut. Yes. Okay. Are you willing to give your word on the good book that you'll bring back my raft in one piece? Sure, for all the gods in the world, I promise. There's only one god, Missy. Oh, Thank you screwed up. Mind. He goes after Onyx. You, kid. Can I trust you to bring back my raft? We will do our best. Uh, Daryl has finished peeing and goes back to crunching. However, everybody give me perception check. No, not no, no. no. Seven. Happy to miss this I one. I take it Calliope notices with a 21 his fly is open. The barn door's open and the horse is out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> make that roll. I'm just like, um, it's hard to or better. Onyx, what was your roll? Nine. So, uh, Anja, Onyx, and Mark are too busy, but the Warforged Calliope. God, I did not make that roll. Oh, gosh. Uh, so, Onyx, uh, it appears old Huck is going to trust the kid of the group. <laughs> yeah, probably the oldest. I think she's 30. Okay. Um, I will give you a paddling if you don't bring this back. You can try, sir. 
Um, okay, so well, let's go. Uh, Grandma Moses and the kid, Daryl, waving. <laughs> and Larry <laughs> waving. Good luck, storm in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy in the background yells out, the fire's ready. We can dunk that stuff. Uh, okay, I am going oh, to... Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you catch that one? Yeah, I caught that one. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> that, that, that was one awesome. Was, that one was a little obscure. I uh, missed those. <laughs> uh, you guys pile onto, we'll say, a raft. Uh <laughs> And I am going to need DC 10 performance checks from each of you. Performance. Oh, gosh. Uh, 18 for Calliope. Nice. 16 for me. 11. Marco? 12. All four of you are a little bit uneasy, but you do manage to stay upright. Uh, Onyx is going to be the pole handler. You're welcome. And you're going to go ahead and push it out into the swampy matter uh, between the bullfrogs, the lily pads, the crocodile eyes, and something moving underneath the green moss. Uh, your trip lasts about 30 minutes where you look around and you see a grove of cypress trees. I am going to need... A, an investigation check from all of you. There are a lot of bent trees in this area. Uh, what was uh, it? Dirty 20 for Calliope. Marka? 14. Anja? 7. Onyx? 7. The Warforged spots a cypress at an unusual angle, sprouting small violet or blue flowers on it. And I, I alert the ladies. Ladies, I believe that the is where we want to go. Mean. Yes. Yeah. Uh, audio, you hear some croaking in the background. Bud, er, wise. Bud, er, wise. <laughs> Bud or wise. Apparently they are not in sync. In sync. Or new direction. Or boys to men. They have no Take business pick. in here. <laughs> uh, so Onyx, uh, Calliope points out where you need to go. You stick it and head that way. Uh, the there are no crocodile eyes here. The yes. Bud or wise frogs have disappeared underneath the water and uh, the only movement appears to be coming from your vessel. Uh, nice. nice. So as you guys reach this cypress tree that's knocked over, uh, Marka, Onyx, and Anja, you confirm Calliope's visual. Yes, this thing does have blue or violet flowers on it, indicating that the cave must be somewhere below. <clears throat> Um, no, wait. eating my Slim Jim. Okay, th <laughs> this is the important thing. Onyx, yep. is, Onyx is eating. Anja? I am too. Marka? Uh, I guess I'm not eating. Okay. You will not be able to breathe underwater for very long. Oh. You got to eat it. It's not water breathing, but it will help. But if you eat it, I need to roll a check for how long it's going to last because it is not consistent. You're All right, what do you get? I'll munch on something. Can you actually eat when you're underwater? Can you what? Can you, you can eat while you're underwater, right? Or can you? I've never not this water. <laughs> you don't want to. <laughs> okay. This water is chunky. So, Calliope, you don't have to breathe mm -hmm. underwater, correct? That's okay. Right. So, Onyx one gotta find it again yeah so we have an extra one then correct but they have a dual purpose right they heal also don't they the licorice or nope. slim gems nope anja okay and marka Fair enough. Uh, okay, you guys gobble down your Slim Jims. 
And dive in. And dive um, in. Uh, it is going to take you. Oh, I'm such a. I'll say it, idiot, idiot, idiot. <laughs> No, no, no. But then again, no, I had a thought maybe we should have sent Calliope first, but then that'd be splitting the party. Well, you all dive in at the same time, right? Yeah, yeah but thinking he, Calliope, she does not she. need to breathe, so she could find the cave. But then again, that's also splitting the party in a potentially very dangerous situation. <laughs> well, here, here's the real question Who has dark vision? Uh, <laughs> Marka, do you have dark vision? Yeah. Tieflings yeah. do, yeah. Yeah. I uh, do the Warforged. No, they don't. <laughs> okay. It can be a little dim for you. Sure. Uh, you guys jump in, descend. The weight from your armor, if you have any, starts to make you sink a little bit faster. It okay, going, good. It is going to take you that many rounds to get down. Uh, everybody give me an investigation check. Oh, terrible. I'm not going to find it with a six. <laughs> 12? Uh, uh, 14 for Calliope. Marka? God, a five. You and Andre are looking at each other, apparently. Calliope's role was just enough to spot the rocky outcropping in the sunlight uh, that is breaking through the green uh, crap uh -huh. on the surface. Uh, Calliope, you can move like this but you notice that the entrance to this cave is rather dark and you will be fighting at disadvantage if you go into it. Okay. Hmm. Are you going to motion Aquaman? Uh, yeah, I, I motion to the, yeah. <laughs> Jason Momoa tells you. Oh man, that's uh, the character I should have brought today. Anyway. Coulda, I, <laughs> coulda woulda, shoulda, didn't. Uh, Onyx, Anja, Marka, Calliope, you all see the opening of the cave uh, about 20, 25 feet away. Okay, yeah, swimming We're towards there. it. <clears throat> Trying to look around, make sure nothing's going to get us. Coward. <laughs> uh, the good news is uh, the murky waters do not offer much in the form of illumination, but you notice that phosphorescent blue lichen under the water glows faintly all the way around the cave entrance, hence the blue flowers on the cypress tree that's tipped over. Your lungs begin to burn, except for calliopes, uh, as you're holding your breath, but the strange uh, Slim Jim uh, seems to be helping you hold your breath a little bit more. Uh, your eyes are not crossing, uh, your movements are not in so you're in good shape. Uh, who's going into the cave? I will. Yeah, I'll go in. Does, but yeah. I'll go after them. Calliope, are you going in? Uh, I'll. Um, <laughs> now that I know, I will be fighting at disadvantage. Uh, but uh, I'll hold the door to where I can see him. The, the, the door. Entrance of, <laughs> the entrance to the cave. I'm ble I'm being Hodor. Hodor. Door. So, you just stand like, and here's the entrance of like your arms out around it. Yeah. Vanna whiting it. Uh, mm -hmm. Anja, Marka, then Onyx, you go in, but a shadowy figure that appears to be made of bundled sticks, no offense, Rube, uh, gelatinous, I can't <laughs> do a trip with these guys, uh, steps um. in front of you. It looks almost like a midget treant. Uh, or Trent, depending on how you like to say it. I will take initiative from you three. Jesus. Eight. Nine. Seven. Oh, God! Uh, Calliope, give me an initiative roll, even though you are out sure. of combat this round. Sure. Uh, my initiative is low. It's seven. Oh my god. You guys Here. suck ass. Uh, the good news is Onyx and I tied with nines. Onyx, I'll let you go first. You may attack this guardian of the cave. Aw. Um, how far away is it from me? It seems to have uh, affixed itself to the ceiling of the cave and dropped right in front of you. 
So it's like within touching distance? Mm -hmm. It is melee range. Okay, I'm going to shopping, shocking grasp that thing. In water? Um, <laughs> give give actually, me an intelligence check. <laughs> <laughs> let's well, see if you figure this out. In real life, out. I flunked mine. Um, <laughs> see, in, yeah, come on, Heidi, you're smarter than that. Apparently uh, not. Intelligence would be 12. You're pretty sure that electricity is probably not the right answer here. Well, neither is Firebolt. Um, uh, Firebolt would be magic. It will work. It's magical. Okay, it yeah. will work. Okay, then I will. It may up. suffer some small loss, but it will work. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll Firebolt that thing. 17, 22 to hit. Hits 18 to hit the big bad, boys and girls. This is uh, okay. Uh, three points of damage. Fair enough. I will go after, let's see, there's only three of you in there. One to two, three to four, five to six. My first attack is going after Anja. Second attack is going after Onyx. So oh, good. Anja, that's a three, uh, so 10. That, just, that does not hit. Oh. Anja, that is a seven oh. plus seven, that's 14. Anja or Onyx? Onyx. 14. Yeah, my AC is 13. Holy shit, this thing does a lot of damage. <laughs> oh. oh now Yay. More. And I'm apparently the magnet tonight. Apparently. Should have uh should have swooned uh the boys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's crap. <laughs> Yay. Uh, five, seven. Seven damage to you. Uh, next up is the eight, Anja. All right. Well, <coughs> hey, can I get my sentinel strike on that, too? You have not uh, been engaged to it yet. So. Oh, that's true. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, it's a bonus action. I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on this thing. Mm -hmm. uh, might as well. And what's the 18 to hit? <laughs> this is going to go well. 18 is what you need. Oh, God. That's that's not an 18. So you miss? Yep. That's only a 9. Okay. Was that your action or your bonus action? My action. My bonus action was to cast, cast Hunter's Hundred Mark. Mar Marka, you're up. Your colleagues are not faring well. 22. <laughs> what? 22 to hit. Hits. <laughs> And four damage. Oh, Jesus. You guys are in for the long haul. Oh, I know. And I do my bonus action. Sure. Which I get a five to hit. It doesn't hit. That's all right. That kind of misses. That's a little low. A little low, Coog. Uh, <laughs> Calliope, from your position, uh, you can see furtive movement, bubbles rising up, stuck to the cave. Uh, and you can tell combat is engaged. Okay. Can I, uh, at this uh, range, can I see if one of the the figures is bigger than the other? Like, much bigger? D12 against me. Okay. Eight. Roll them. Uh, yeah, you beat me. Seven. <laughs> nope. Oh. Uh, it looks like a jumbled mass of bodies. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn it. It's kind of what Larry, Daryl, and Daryl is going to be doing later on when Anja comes back and decides she loves them all. Uh, okay. The next pot of gumbo. That's right. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Jumbo gumbo anja. <laughs> that's a big okay. fat freaking. Okay, move. I'm gonna use I'm gonna take my action to move inside then. Fair enough. Top of the order, Onyx, you and I. It's you and I, Mr. Um, Tunstall. <laughs> bonus action hex on this thing. Okay. And then I am going to uh, Eldridge Blast for, oh, 16. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. Uh, same thing, two attacks. One to two, three to four, five to six. Now I've engaged. Marka, prepare. Anja, prepare. 
Anja. Yep. Nat 20, dear. Marka. Ooh. Nine plus seven, 16. It would hit. Am I able to dodge and spend a key? Mm hmm. Yep. Eight. Yep. I would recommend it. <laughs> How do I do? I have to like go for anything, or I just do that? I just spend you just spend a, a key. you burn okay. the key. It's a reaction. Right. Uh, six plus two, eight damage, Anja. Uh, Anja, since it is your turn, go ahead and do your strike, and then do your action. Oops, do, your, do your sentinel, and then do your attack. Andy, behind you're being stupid. Okay, so. Uh, so I'm going to declare my target there and then let's attack. Come on. Oh, are you frigging? 16's not going to do it. I, just, I need over a 10 to do this. So now do your combat action. Nope. Nope. Uh, the sevens, Marka and Calliope. Marka first, Calliope will be coming in in the dark. A disadvantage. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, Marcus, start chopping this thing down. Uh, I I only got a ten. Wah wah. Calliope recklessly engages what he thinks is the target. Okay. <laughs> uh how is its wisdom? I don't know. Okay. You, uh, you got, I can almost guarantee you guys have never faced this because I had to do some digging to find it. Okay. Oh. I am, uh, it's going to have to do a wisdom save of 13. Uh, that's a three on the die and it don't get no plus 10. <laughs> All right. It is going to take, uh, come on, dice roller, 11 points of psychic damage with dissonant whispers and uh, I believe uh since you failed or whatever it must immediately take a reaction to move away from us that's fair enough uh top of the order onyx i am backpedaling on my unicycle okay um i'm gonna try looking around behind this thing can i Burn see front <laughs> There is an old rusty iron trunk behind it, and it is still behind it. Okay. Um, <coughs> I am going to try to. It's round three, by the way. Yep. Eldridge blast it. With. So that's 11, so that does not hit. Fair enough. Uh, I am backpedaling. You're going to be the only one in my wheelhouse, and I'm only going to take one attack because I'm backpedaling. Who is? Me. Uh, four. So does an 11 get you, Onyx? Nope. There you go. I have stopped backpedaling. Uh, next up, Anja. So did that attack... So wait, that she was not next to me, right? Correct. She had to go after it to get to it. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to... And you will have to approach it, too, in order to fight it, unless you want to use range. Um, I'm going to... No, I'm going to... I'll I'll move to it. <clears throat> okay. It's within 30 feet. Uh, and I guess... Yeah, make an attack. Like, I'm going to... I have to roll at least a 12. Nope. The bad news is, because you've moved deeper into the cave... Going to take you longer to get out of the cave. <laughs> uh, is that your only... For the box, so we can friggin' disengage and get the frick out of here. It's behind it. The box is behind it? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm trying to keep it busy, so... Fair. Marka, you're up. All right. Seventeen? No. Uh, nope. 18. Damn. Calliope. Uh, let's see. Okay, this thing, um, I am going to tell it a little joke. Uh, so another 13 wisdom saved. Tell me a joke. That's two on the die roll. Okay, Tasha's hideous laughter. 
wonder if that thing can laugh. Okay. Uh, I just lose my turn or what? Uh, you are incapacitated and, t- and prone. Uh, unless somebody attacks you, then it breaks the spell. Fair enough. Nice. End of the round, Onyx, you'll get advantage in melee because I am on the ground laughing hilariously at what Calliope has told me. My guess is it has something to do with Daryl's. Yeah. It's just like you should have seen what was hanging out of that barn door. (laughs) Uh, No, I'm glad I did not see what was Um, hanging out of the barn door. How far away is the metal box? It is directly behind it. You can just step around okay, it and pick I it up. Am, yeah, I'm going to try and step around it and drag <laughs> the box out. Okay. Uh, as you grab the handle, give me a wisdom check. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Nine. It's stuck. Next up, me. Uh, Anja, you did approach, right? I did approach, but you're laughing and you're prone. Well, now I get my save, correct? Yeah, you get a wisdom save. Oh, that's a three. Ha! Uh, Anja, you're up. I'm going to go help with the box. <laughs> I go to pick it up. Uh, between the, Go ahead and give me a wisdom check. Okay, come on. Check, right? Not save. Check, not save. Of course, actually, there's no difference there. A uh, 17. You see where it's stuck, and you could go ahead and maneuver it. Uh, Marco, uh, you see your associates bending over trying to pick up a trunk. What would you like to do? Help them pick it up. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Calliope, what you going to do when they come for you? Uh, I am going to uh, assist them also. So the four of you each take a corner, and I assume you're leaving? Mm -hmm. Yep. Round six. Uh, Marka, you're starting to feel a little burning in your chest, like Vic's VapoRub kind of burning. Uh, Top of the order, Onyx, I assume you're going to continue moving. I am going to make my save. Jesus Christ, that is another three. <laughs> uh, you, guys, nice. you guys are all picking it up and moving it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Round seven. Okay. Uh, Mark, how ha- Marka, it's, your chest is really starting to burn. I may have to go up for air, you guys. Go, go. And by the way, I have a 17 strength. Can I carry this chest myself? probably try and carry it yourself it's going to be lighter underwater yeah how much right. does it weigh about wisdom check anja if you want to know that oh how much does it weigh mm-hmm. i guess i can tell by feeling it that's not good that's only can you <laughs> six i mean i i mean you know that you can pick it up you don't know how heavy it's going to be outside of the water well, by then, we'll be away from this fucker, and we'll be on the surface. Will you? <laughs> Will you? Yeah, we're going to try. Uh, Marco, Onyx, do you have any anything else you're doing in this round? I assume um, I'm just moving, the moving the box. Okay. Onyx, Anja, Calliope are moving the box around. Marka is swimming ahead. It's going to take you two rounds, and as you break the water your lungs are going to be on fire. So you presume uh, the Slim Jim has just enough power to get you out. Onyx, Anja, you're still fine. Wow. Uh, Marka, Marka, you hit the boat and uh, the Cypress log. Uh, Give me a dex check to see if you can uh, get up there. For Dex. Like, all right. Um, 16. Yeah. Uh, you scamper up the down cypress tree, jump onto the flat boat. Uh, round over, round eight. Onyx, you're continuing. Mm-hmm. You guys reach the mouth. 
and I am going to make my roll. Oh, good. That's much better. That's a four. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, you get out into the open area. You still hear the bubbles of the Tasha's hideous laughter. We are at round nine as you go up. Takes you two rounds to get down, two rounds to get up. Round nine, my turn. An 11, what do I need? 13. 12. Uh, so it's starting to wear off. Is there a duration on this? or is uh, The duration, uh, let me check. Uh, let's see, casting time. Duration, <laughs> concentration up for a minute. So okay. it's been. So still yeah. have time. Uh, Onyx, Anja, Calliope, you guys break the surface of the water. See, Marka has survived. She is on the flat boat. Uh, do you want to let Anja lift the box? How do you guys want to do this? You've got uh, the boat and the log. Right. Well, if it's still buoyant or whatever, I'm going to use uh, Mage Hand to kind of just pull it behind us if there's a handle or something. Is there? There is. Or a chain or something? Okay. Yeah. Uh, give me a d20 roll straight up. Oh, crap. Oh, uh, when the DM smiles. It starts to sink. <laughs> <laughs> Onyx, Anja, D12 against me. Uh, three. Six. Nine. Anja, you notice that the mage hand has snapped off one of the handles, and you dun, da, dun, 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 head back down to get it. This is going to cost... Two more rounds. Oh, no. <laughs> Round one. 16. <laughs> the oh, Guardian is going to be pissed. And it can move. Uh, Onyx, Calliope, give me dex checks to get up on the boat with Marka. If Marka helps, you can roll an advantage. I'll help. Uh, not 20 for 21. Calliope. Uh, I'm sorry. What am I rolling again? I'm sorry. Dexterity Dex and Dexterity. advantage. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, one more time. <coughs> uh, let's see. Come on. Give me the number. 15? 15. 15. Uh, you take the hand of Marka. She hauls you up. Anja, uh, you get a hold of the trunk, but look back towards the uh, tunnel of the cave and you see actually I probably would know that anyways because I, I haven't really lost concentration so Hunter's Mark gives me an idea where that thing is so I probably okay. knew it was coming and so I probably know. suck it up and I grab it and I'm going I'm just going as fast as I can okay uh, give me an athletics okay I do have alright come on Oh, for fuck's sakes, nine. <sighs> okay. Uh, you aren't swimming very well because the bulkiness of the trunk is yeah, uh, causing a problem. However, you are still out distancing the creature who, well, you aren't really out distancing. It seems to be running neutral. Give right. me another check. This is round 11. That's a d20. <laughs> Okay, that well, that was better. Uh, so Your lungs are also starting to burn. Yep, uh, 15. Fair enough. Uh, you've maneuvered the trunk into your shoulder position and you break water. Onyx, Marka, Calliope, <coughs> rusty trunk, and Anja's head is bobbing above water. Uh, we're going to try and pull try it up. Try and pull them up. Yeah, the trunk yeah. And, and... Give me straight up D20s. Okay. You guys got it straight up. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> 10. Yeah. Uh, that is enough to lean it in there. Uh, Anja, your hunter's mark is -hoo, 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 -hoo. that thing is closing like a sub. Uh, make your dexterity check to get up there. Uh, are they help? Are one of you guys helping me? Uh, 
<laughs> yeah. 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 We're helping. We're gonna. I, I'm not her. super strong, but I can try and help. Hit her in the face with a stick. <laughs> Save yourself. <laughs> this is murder hobo. <laughs> wait, wait. What the heck is it to get on there? Dex. Oh, Dex. Okay, not acrobatics or I'm sorry, not athletics. Nope, oh, straight up Dex. Thank you. Uh, okay. Well, that would have been good anyways. That's straight up deck. So that is a 19. She scampers up the cypress tree and maintains her position on the flatbed. Uh, the trunk, I assume, is in the middle for Moving. buoyancy purposes. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have a mover. Uh, Onyx, D12 against me. Oh, no. Seven. Six. Uh, you push off the cypress. You're moving forward. Uh, behind you, you see the trails of your flatbed or your borrowed flatbed, but then the stick man rises to the surface and he is in hot pursuit. Hot pursuit. <laughs> uh, give me three performance checks, Onyx, as you speed back towards shoreline. Oh, crap. Okay. And tell me one at a time. First one is an eight. Okay. Second one is a 19. Okay. Last one is a 13. Uh, very nice. Uh, you managed to stay a consistent distance ahead of the creature, but you are just stroking for all you're worth because it <laughs> is coming at you like a crocodile. <coughs> As you reach the shore, you're paying attention behind you, so you're going to beach it hard like a traffic accident. Everybody give me a dex check as Captain Nemo here wrecks the fucking flatbed. Yeah, she wrecks it. And that's a crappy roll. Uh, that's a 10. 19. Seven. Seven. You pitch forward. The <laughs> stick flies up and sticks in the mud on the shore along with the boat. Anja, to do that. Marka, Calliope, you see a flaming arrow come zipping past you. <laughs> I'm drawing my weapon, man. Actually, I've had it. Uh, oh. <laughs> As the head bobs up out of the water, the flaming arrow strikes it. Give me a perception check. Oh. Uh, not oh. Onyx. Mm-hmm. Uh, you. Okay. Uh, for Calliope, it's a 23. Anja Marka? Nine. Perception, 13. Um, only Calliope notices that there is something attached to this arrow. Uh, Onyx, as you pick yourself up, you look behind you, you see the creature coming at you with the wooden shaft still stuck in its head region. A moment later, there is a blast. Uh, Calliope, there was a vial on the end of the arrow. Oh. <laughs> and it has ignited and blown up. Uh, as you guys beach it, down comes Huck, mad as hell, checking his uh, vehicle for damage. You also spot two people that you haven't seen before. They're both males. Why are there so many men down here? <laughs> Why are there so few women? Calliope, you're old. Tell them who helped you out and how they did it. And I'm just like, gentlemen, thank you for your assistance. Might your names be Bo and Luke? They are Bo and Luke. They are relatives of Daisy, and they have used the exploding <laughs> arrow. They used to go fishing with the with the explosive arrows. That's right, because yeah. <laughs> it's Miss Louisa Bama. Yep. Uh, yep, folks, it looks like you can take the box uh, to Toluca or yep. open it. Um, uh, let's take it to her, but ask her to open it in front of us, maybe. Okay. Good idea. I don't know. There could be more snakes popping out. I'm just like, uh, ladies, okay. let me take care of this first. And I cast Mending on Huck's Raft. 
That's fair. <laughs> Try to fix any damage. So. Uh, Anja, you notice with the barn door still open, <laughs> the boys are coming down to give you a victory hug. Way to go, Missy! Way to go! I pull my sword and stick it on from like no, 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 no. Oh, that is very <laughs> ungentlemanly. Oh, <laughs> put that out. That's just rude. Oh, my apologies. <laughs> See, I did not know you were not interested in it. It's rude. <laughs> okay, I'm interested in these it, parts, but... honey. You don't even know how to cook snake. <laughs> uh, we we will go I ahead and who actually know how to cook snake, but I don't. We will go ahead and uh, cut it a little bit short. As you take it back to Tallulah, uh, you <laughs> tell her what? What's it? We what? You, you take uh, the box back to Tallulah, who meets yeah. you at the appointed location. Right. Uh, we tell her, uh, uh, Tallulah, we have procured the said box for you. William and Shatner best, is Shatner. the robot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's right. Uh, now female key. Shatner. <laughs> do that, you know, now. Do you, do you have a key? There's can... a key. <laughs> no. Uh, no, perhaps. I mean, we did not vanquish the creature ourselves, so we don't know if there was a key. So it's still alive. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> don't think so. It blew up. It kind of blew up. <laughs> Folks, if you want to know what really happens, you're going to have to wait a few months uh, until this thing gets published. Uh, since it's just written, it's going to be a year. Uh, 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 I'll tell these folks what happened in post green room. Uh, but thanks for joining us. Uh, I really appreciate your time, as does the cast. Let's go ahead and do final thoughts. Uh, we'll start with David. Final thoughts. Uh, I think I need to integrate uh, thieves hey, tools. You don't say integrate in Miss Louisiana. Hey. <laughs> uh, no thieves tools needs to be in her in her in her skill set. So. Fair enough. But yeah. uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was great. The the Dukes of Hazard was really really that really was a lot of fun. fun. Old that pop fun. culture jokes. Yep. Caitlin, yep. what'd you think? <laughs> A little uh, racist on Southern folks, but it's fine. Uh, you say I, racist, I say accurate. <laughs> I just, I think like we should have been like grungs. I would have made it so much better. You should have been what? A grung. Yeah, that would have helped you out. Mm -hmm. uh, Carol, final thoughts. Mm, that was a great solution, by the way, to that creature. That uh, was a horse shit roll on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to roll a 12 to hit that, so the odds were not really in my favor. But other than I said, that was, that, that was fun. It was a good good plot. Um, I was going to, you're lucky I did not murder Larry, Daryl, and Daryl, because at the end, I Oh, I'm, I'm lucky? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm lucky. Gotcha. I'm, I'm the lucky one. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Uh, yeah, did you want to murder them? Oh, no, they were not designed to be murdered. Uh, last but not least, Heidi, what'd you think? think? That was a lot of fun. I was waiting for Boss Hog to make an appearance. Oh, yeah. oh that's <laughs> one you forgot, Frank. No, I didn't forget. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. We need to play this. It's, it's a time frame. To deliver this in two uh, hours, you got to... You gotta, Cut and run on some, but yeah, yeah. No, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. He was going to be kind of boss hog, kind of foghorn leghorny. Oh God! I say, I say that's boy, what I, I thought it was going to be smoking the cigar. Yeah. Well, if <laughs> Caitlin thought I was racist in my presentation, she missed out on not seeing foghorn leghorn because woo, him mixed with <laughs> Colonel Sanders. Oh, <laughs> folks, uh, thanks for watching. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy our stuff. Uh, somewhere in there, tinyurl.com, RPG swag. Uh, if you want to chat with us, tinyurl.com, mhobo inc. Discord. We got another game Saturday. Haven't really decided what it's going to be, who it's going to be, whatever. Tune in uh, again if you want a spot on the talk show or one of these shows. Go ahead and let us know, we'd appreciate it. And uh, you know. Uh, these guys did really well 
uh, and they played better than most. So, you know, uh, you, you got it's not a high bar, you know, because but it's a bar. <laughs> all in love with the boys, but okay. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thank you very much. Remember to stay safe, wash your hands, everybody. Wave goodbye. Wave goodbye. Thank you for watching MHI TV. This concludes our broadcast.